Hello again, everybody. Welcome to today's video. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, we're going to do something a little different today as I did last week with no talking. Uh, this week I'm going to a different town. I'm going to a different city, which is Redmond, Washington, instead of Bellevue, Washington. So what I thought I would do in uh, this intro would be to tell you a little bit about the differences between Redmond and Bellevue and then uh, do the slideshow. And then at the end, I'll have some thoughts. Make sure you stay tuned to that because I will also have an update on what's going on for about the next month or so with videos here, at least what the plan is. So uh, let's start with some of the differences between Redmond and Bellevue. First of all, they're neighbors. They're right next to each other. Uh, they have a common border. And when you think of Redmond, you're probably thinking of Microsoft because that's where Microsoft has its headquarters. Fun trivia fact, uh, originally a Microsoft headquarter was in Bellevue, but they moved to Redmond. Anyway, that's where their campus is, their main campus with tons and tons of buildings. They're not very tall, they're four to six stories. Uh, and it's kind of not a private campus, but it's not a place you can walk around. And it's also about three or four miles from downtown Redmond. So no Microsoft in these photos. Uh, the other difference between Redmond and Microsoft is Redmond is a little bit smaller. It's about half the size, about 75,000 population versus about 150,000 for Bellevue. And then when we get to downtown Bellevue and downtown Redmond, the differences are, are pretty noticeable. Uh, Bellevue downtown has much taller buildings. I think the tallest right now is 40 stories. Uh, and it's also much more business office centric. Uh, there are, as you move out a little bit, there are some uh, areas of residential multifamily, also high rise 20 to 30 story buildings. Uh, but downtown Redmond, the, the maximum height is six stories, I believe. And all of it, most, not all of it, most of it is residential, mixed uh, family, multifamily, uh, multi-use, mixed use buildings with restaurants and retail down below. So, so that's a little bit of the differences. And one of the reasons I went there to Redmond this time was because of those differences. I wanted to see some different buildings, see some different people, see some different uh, atmosphere and have a different experience. So you'll get to see those photos coming up. So I hope you enjoy. And then at the end of the video, I'll have some more thoughts. And as I mentioned, an update on what's coming up next on the channel. So stay tuned. I'll see you in a little bit after the photos.
Hello again. I hope you enjoyed those photos and video and I would love to hear your thoughts and comments. Please leave that in the comment section down below and look forward to having a conversation with you about all this stuff. As I mentioned in the intro, one of the reasons I switched things up was to switch things up. Uh, it's good, I think, to get a different perspective on something new and see some new things, applying what you've learned in other places to a new place. And now I'm going to be going back to Bellevue next week, and I'm really looking forward to it because uh, I feel a little refreshed, a little fresher perspective. So uh, hopefully I'm going to keep learning more about Bellevue, finding more things to photograph, learning and leaning into a specific space and place to make photos and uh, grow in that and learn some new things. So I hope you'll join me on that journey. So do the like and subscribe thing as required by YouTube law for me to say. I also mentioned in the intro that uh, give you a little bit of an update on what's coming up next. So uh, I'm now finished with my summer quarter. So I get about six weeks off before the start of fall quarter. And I'm going to be doing some stuff. One of those things will be potentially a civic duty. I have jury duty for the next two weeks, potentially. Uh, it's a civil case that should last about 10 days in uh, Seattle. And I'm hoping that uh, the end date, which coincides with a photo project I have, will, will excuse me from the duty. But if not, you may see less of me and you might have to see an update in the social media part of uh, YouTube to know what's going on. Um, so there's that. Uh, I will be going back to Bellevue off and on the next few weeks. I'm also going to start work on uh, a zine of photos from Bellevue and hope to have that done by the end of September. So look forward to that. Uh, I'll be going to the fair here in uh, also in September. So that'll be coming up. I think I'm going to do a three part video on that. I'm going to spend the whole day from uh, late morning all the way through afternoon and evening. So those are some things coming up. Uh, might do a comparison video between um, the 16 to 55 Fujinon lens, which is recording this video, and the 16 to 80 that I use every day and see what the differences are. I think they're semi obvious, but a lot of people ask, is it worth the upgrade money wise and otherwise to go to the 16 to 55 versus 1680? So that's what I'm thinking about. If you have suggestions or things you're interested in uh, a video about, please leave that in the comments below and I will see what I can do. Uh, so that's what I know is going on. I'd love to hear what's going on for you. Also, in the comments below. Uh, would love if you follow along on Instagram and threads and all the other social things. Uh, there's a link for that in the description down below. So until I see you in another video, I hope you stay safe, stay well, and have fun creating photos. Bye for now. <music>